say is, wow. <laughs> I was told I'm going to be here, and I'm sure I have the East Mississippi Business uh, Council or a corporation here. Uh, but I wasn't expecting to this. <laughs> special but to, to don your shirts and have these great decorations and make this very special and to have Dak Martin here this morning. Wasn't that great? <laughs> Son of Bruce and, and Julie Martin here who will be on June on excuse me, April the fifteenth, I think that's right. Yeah. Super Bulldog weekend, that's on a Saturday. He will be officially coordinated as our Bully 22, Mississippi State University official mascot. So that's a wonderful occasion that we're looking forward to. And such a great addition to a long line of great bullies. Thank you, Bruce and Judy, for allowing us to have that to represent our university. So I appreciate that very, very much. Well, again, thank you all for being here this morning in this great, great, great community. What a great community. This is a celebration not just for Mississippi State. This is for all of you and for this great community in Meridian and in Lauderdale County. All the exciting, great things that you've got going on here in this community because of what? Of your leadership and your passion and commitment to making your community a better place. I just have to tell you that I'm very proud of what our university has been doing to help address those critical needs and our extension service. I'm just so proud of them and what they have been doing. Boots on the ground just within literally hours in the aftermath of the devastating <coughs> destruction. And other teams on our campus have been deployed. Our students on campus are raising supplies and water and traveling and volunteering and going to work on this, these communities. And so it makes you proud when you have a state like Mississippi where we do genuinely care for one another and try to look out and help our neighbors in need. And then you all had some bad weather that came through here this past Sunday and did some damage. And we, of course, were concerned about our campus facilities here. And thankfully, we have no major damage. But we did have some employees, some staff who worked for us who had some of their property that was damaged this past Sunday. But we all have to take a moment and just be thankful for um, what we have and what we're doing, but also recognize those in need. And I know so many of you here in this community are reaching out to helping those in need of this very facility that we're in right here is because of the Morality Foundation and their vision. And I think back when I was, when I first came back to Mississippi State in January of 2009, I think about what was downtown Meridian. Think with me back to your memories of downtown Meridian back to 2009. It wasn't that long ago. Boy, it's changed a lot since then, hasn't it? And it's because of partnerships, relationships, and trust, and confidence, and vision of leaders in this community, and the leaders that we have here now today that are committed to looking at, yes, all the great things that have occurred, the great growth of the Riley campus downtown, not just this building, but the Dean building, and the Rosenbaum building next door, and, and you think about all the other wonderful growth and development here in downtown with the Max and the Children's Museum and just right here. This big tall building you can't miss when you drive drive in downtown, the three foot hotel. But I truly believe that Meridian and Lauderdale County, this community is, well I think it's the most enviable community in the whole state of Mississippi.
you in this community and all the infrastructure you have here in this area for further growth and job creation and industries. And we want to be there to be your partner because when you think about Meridian, well, Meridian is the home of Mississippi State University. Okay. And that's right. You've got Mississippi State University in Meridian, Mississippi. You've got Meridian Community College, outstanding, one of the best community colleges in the state, right here. You've got great schools across the whole community here. And again, the infrastructure. You have so much to offer to make this a place where people want to come to move to, to live, to raise your family, to have a good job, a good career, great opportunities. <laughs> and that's what this East Mississippi Business Council Corporation is focused on. And, and to have the business leaders that you have here who passionately care about the community and give up their time and their energies and their resources to help make this community a better place to live. I'm going to tell you, you're pulling in the same direction. You're working together. The health care community that you have here with Oshner Rush and Anderson and the East Mississippi State Hospital and other <coughs> wonderful health care facilities here, this is a dynamic health care community. We want to see that continue to grow and thrive to meet the needs of not only East Mississippi but the entire state. That this will be a place, a hub for health care to meet so many critical needs for the state of Mississippi. And we want to be right there, hand in glove, partner with these outstanding health care facilities. In the Rosenbaum building, you saw in the video some of our students that are pursuing their degree in physician assistant, masters of a physician assistant degree right here downtown Meridian. Our first class, our first cohort of graduates will graduate in May. We'll have 19 newly minted physician assistants ready to go out and help address critical health care needs. And at this very moment, we have 74 physician assistant students right here, just two buildings down, getting their education getting prepared to go out and meet the needs. And when we're full, up and fully operational, we'll have 90 PA students. 90. Right here in downtown Meridian. We also have other allied health programs that are very proud of what we're being, what we're able to bring to our presence here. We are excited about both of these two new programs. The Doctor of Psychology program is to prepare someone to be a practicing psychologist. And let me tell you, there is a huge demand for psychologists across our state and across our nation. I don't know how many will graduate or produce. It won't be nearly enough. But we are going to do all we can to help meet the critical needs that we have. And I'm very excited about that. And then, with the support of the Riley Foundation, the Phil Harbor Foundation, and the Broadhead Foundation, we're bringing other programs to downtown Meridian. These are graduate level programs. We will have programs that will be, we have five new programs that we're going to be bringing. Clinical mental health counseling. School counseling. Rehabilitation Counseling, Applied Behavior Analysis, and School Psychology. These programs are in high, high demand. And because of the support and the partnership with these outstanding local foundations who recognize the needs that exist and recognize that well, Mississippi State's a good investment, a good partner. They're investing in us to bring these programs to downtown Meridian. 
So, again, to the Riley Foundation, to the Phil Harden Foundation, to the Broadhead Foundation, thank you for your trust and your confidence in Mississippi State University and what we're working hard to do to meet so many critical needs and grow our campus, and grow our presence here in Meridian. And to Anderson Hospital and Oshner Rush, they're also partners with us. We want to meet their critical needs. We want to listen to them. What is it that you need? What can we do to help you with your needs so you can grow and expand and have the resources and the personnel that you need to provide outstanding health care for this entire region of our state. In fact, we have the, the, the two chief nursing directors for those two hospitals are serving on our search committee to hire our new dean of nursing. And we appreciate their input. We want to hear from them about who's a good leader to lead our nursing program here at Mississippi State. So again, a lot of great things are happening here. And we want to see us continue to grow and expand because of your support for us. Great things are and will continue to happen. Now, because of all the growth that we're seeing and the potential that we're about to see, well, that's causing a little bit of a problem. You, know, you always have problems when you have growth. And one of the problems that we're working to try to address is that we need some more housing here. Student housing for our students. And so we're in the early stages of thinking about some options and things that we might can do. And, and of course, the more we can do closer to downtown, the better because of the proximity of the campus. And some of these programs that I'm sharing with you, well, the students, well, they work late into the evenings. And you've got the hospital just down the street that they'll be working and doing clinical work in those hospitals. And, you know, they, so we're working and thinking about ways we can create more student housing to grow opportunities for students to be able to live and, of course, study and work right here in proximity to, well, downtown Meridian. The coolest downtown in the state. So, and our potential for further growth, but <clears throat> it's not me. It's, it's all of you. And it's a commitment of so many people who love this community. They want to see this community thrive and do well. And, and again, it's all about partnerships and relationships and trust and confidence and working together and listening and talking and sharing ideas and helping one another. When you do all of that, it's amazing how wonderful things can be and how great things can occur. And what a blessed community we have right here in all of you in your support for Mississippi State and for Meridian. So again, as I said at the 25th anniversary of the Riley Foundation, we are proud and honored to be part of this community. We're so thankful to the Riley Foundation again, Bill Harden and Broadhead and, and to all the leadership of our leaders, our elected leaders and their confidence in us. And we want to live up to that confidence and fulfill your expectations of us to the highest level we possibly can. And I can promise you we're going to do everything we can to do the very best job for our students, for this facility, for this university, and for all of you and for the entire state of Mississippi. So thank you for being here. What a great surprise it is what you've done to honor Mississippi State and and I just can't tell you how much we appreciate all that you do for us. So thank you for being here. Thank you for all that you do for us. May God bless all of you. And as we say in Meridian and Starville, hail dear old state. So tell us why you're here in Meridian today. Well, I'm proud to be here in beautiful Meridian today to talk about some of the wonderful things happening here at Mississippi State University Meridian. Uh, primarily in the health field. We've got some great new programs that we're bringing here to Meridian. The 
uh, IHL Board of Trustees just last week approved us bringing a new Master's of Nursing degree to our campus here, the Riley campus in downtown Meridian, to, to support and augment what we're already doing here with our phys wonderful physician assistant program uh, here uh, in Meridian. And then other programs that we're looking to bring, a new Doctor of Psychology program that we'll be offering here, and then other mental health counseling programs that will be coming. And those programs are, are, are coming here because of the support of our foundation partners like the Riley Foundation and the Phil Harden Foundation and the Broadhead Foundation that are investing in Mississippi State University Meridian to address critical needs here. And this is a wonderful health care community with Ashna Rush and with Anderson Hospital and the East Mississippi State Hospital and all the other health care facilities are here. We see Meridian, Lauderdale County being a health care hub to serve all of East Mississippi and for that matter to meet critical needs we have all over the state for health professionals and we want to be a big part of that in helping to meet those critical needs. Awesome. Well, thank you.